Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is the 16th in a series of videos that I'm making for Mark, a high school math student in the Philippines who sent me a list of problems that he needs help with in order that he participate successfully in a math contest later on this month. And I'm trying to help him the best I can. Mark, you gave me this problem, a circle with radius 8, and we have a chord of length 3. Chord means a segment that touches the circle in two points. The two points I have labeled capital A and capital B. And I have labeled capital C the center of the circle. And as is customary, we've got lowercase letters for the sides along with the capital letters for the angles with side A opposite angle A, side B opposite angle B, and side C opposite angle C. So we have sides A and B, both length 8, that's each a radius of the circle, and then we have this chord, side C, length 3, and we are to find angle C. Well, there's more than one way to do it, but whatever way you do it, you have to use trigonometry. And Mark, I don't know how much, if any, trigonometry you've studied in school. A trig equation that works perfectly in this problem is known as the law of cosines. You can use it when all three side lengths of a triangle are given and you want to find one or more of the angles. The formula notation of the law of cosines that fits this problem the way I've set it up is side c squared equals side a squared plus side b squared minus 2 times side a times side b times the cosine of angle c. Substituting into that formula, we have 3 squared equals 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 times the cosine of angle C. That is 9 equals 64 plus 64 minus 128 times the cosine of angle C. I subtract the 64s from both sides and I get negative 119 equals negative 128 times the cosine of angle C. I divide both sides by negative 128 and I have negative 119 over negative 128 equals cosine of C. If we want to, we can just change both those negatives to positives because a negative over a negative is positive. Now I take my calculator and I see to it that it's in degree mode and the way I enter it into my calculator is I press second cosine this fraction. I always press the second button when I'm looking for the value of an angle. And I get angle C equals approximately 21 and 614 thousandths degrees. So Mark, that's it for this problem. There will be more videos to come. Thank you for watching.